if the finals ranked stays the way it is it will not only never become an esport but it will never succeed nor become popular as a competitive shooter the problem with ranked that i'm talking about isn't matchmaking it isn't solo queuing it isn't any of the things that people usually talk about it's one thing that at least from what I've seen has never been talked about before. And to be clear, I give this advice and criticism as someone who loves this game and thinks that changing this will make the game better. Even though it sounds like I hate ranked or whatever, I enjoy playing ranked and have fun with it. But there's a difference between a fun competitive game mode and just a fun one. If you look at any popular and successful competitive games, you'll notice that they're all one team versus one team. And yes, Battle Royals are more than one team versus one team, but I'll explain why that comparison doesn't work later on in the video. The problem with ranked finals, and I respect Embark for trying something different, but it is the game mode itself. It should absolutely stay, but it should stay in just the casual side. It shouldn't be in competitive unless it's changed in a big way. But what's the problem with it? And honestly, the best way to explain is from my stream earlier. So chat, we have four teams, two cash outs. Top left is three lights, all taser. Bottom, we just have some uh, chill three heavy team. On the right, we have three turret mediums. And then the top, I don't know who this is. I just looked up best player in the finals and he popped up. So what's gonna happen? The pros are gonna head down to B, heavy's gonna head down to A. The medium turrets, they, don't, they got one brain cell. They're all gonna go to B. Now the lights, they're pretty smart. So what are they gonna do? As the pros fight the mediums in a, in a crazy battle, they beat them. They're low though, they're hurting. The lights are gonna come up from behind, grab the pros by the waist, and, and, and nicely, nicely beat them to death. Yes, they respawn, but now they're only gonna get to the point 45 seconds to a whole minute after that fight. Who knows how much time is left? Could only be 10 seconds, could be whatever. Now the problem is, it's again a third party between all of them. These guys have to deal with these guys, and these guys, and then also steal the cash out, which if these guys are smart, they're gonna wait back, let these two fight over trying to get the cash out, and clean the, them up, and they get the win. Don't bring up these complaints as a player who's just butt hurt that I suck at ranked. I peaked at top 175 in the world last season, and I'm diamond this season just from solo queuing. To make it clear, I'm not good, but I'm also not bad. Clip that. As you can see, the issue with the game mode is third party. In a competitive game mode, it not only needs to be entertaining to play, but it also needs to be entertaining to watch for the esports and content side. But mainly, it needs to be a show of skill. And third partying, which is the best strategy to win now, and something I obviously do because I play to win, it isn't a show of skill. Because while it may be okay at lower ranks, if this became an esport, which is the best of the best, they aren't gonna be able to hold off a whole new team that comes to clean them off after they just barely won their last fight. And the reason why this can't be compared to a battle royale is the difference in goal. One is to be the last person surviving on a huge map. The other is an objective-based game mode on a relatively small map, meaning you are forced to go to one of two points or else you lose. That's a problem when you're more than two teams. Look at any successful objective-based competitive game and you'll notice they are all one team versus another. When it's more than two teams, a big problem arises because you pretty much know where every team is or is going. Therefore, third partying is impossible to avoid and is incredibly easy to do. And in a four team game, that means usually one team gets a free cash out, which is neither entertaining nor a show of skill. And the other cash out is definitely gonna be entertaining, but it is either gonna be an insane show of skill or usually just a team getting unfairly beaten by a third party. There's also a hidden option where all four teams just go to one cash out and the team holding it just gets screwed. Cause that's the difference from a battle royale. In the finals, Third parties, at least in the, the highest level, are always gonna happen. While in battle royales, they sometimes happen when a team overstays like at a certain area and then they get pressed by the team. Cause why would I go attack a fresh, ready to go team at cash out A when cash out B has two teams in the middle fighting, all of their equipment is destroyed, and between the both of them have a total of two or three players. Just because there's multiple cash outs and hey, maybe this time a different team has to deal with a horrible third party, doesn't make the issue of third partying okay or dismissible. And even if it somehow did, that doesn't guarantee that a different team each time is getting third party. There's too much randomness and that can't work in a competitive mode. They'll respawn and have a second chance, but now they have a 25 second timer plus the 20 to 30 seconds it takes to get over there, plus the original team that fought them there before they got third party is now headed back to that same cash out. 
I truly haven't seen a solid argument against this. And I'm not saying there's not. I could easily be wrong. I could care less if I'm wrong or right. At the end of the day, I just want this game to succeed. And I think this is a big thing that could help it. Criticizing without providing a solution kind of sucks. So here's my solution. They already found it. The new attack and defend game mode looks perfect for ranked. Yes, they would have to add back healing and add back respawns. And for the gadgets, eh, I'm not really sure. I could see refreshing gadgets and one use gadgets both working. So it would be up to them to decide. On one side, the refreshing gadgets would mean a more entertaining game. And on the other, it would be less entertaining, but it would be a better show of skill because they only have one time use. Overall, I think it would lead to a similarly entertaining and fun ranked experience while also providing just a better competitive mode and show of skill. However, I think they could also keep the game mode. They just have to reduce the teams to two and reduce the cash out to one and still keep the tournament style. But it's more like an NFL playoff where these teams fight one on one until at the end, it is only the best of the best. Four teams doesn't work because it adds too much randomness to the fights which works in casual, but doesn't work in a competitive mode, and especially will never work in an esports scene. I not only believe that if Embark makes these changes, the esports scene actually has a chance, but just overall competitive will be more fun and a better display of skill for the players.